Yes, uh, so now uh, we will, of course, uh, as we were talking about, that uh, the whole purpose of tonight's event is to integrate the different communities that make America a melting pot of uh, cultures. And we celebrate this with when we come together as Americans, as South Asians, or as Muslims, or as uh, any ethnic or religious background that we have. But when we come together as American Muslims or American South Asians, we are celebrating this. And for this, of course, we cannot... Without further delay, we, I think we should call on stage the Grand Mufti of America, Mufti Munir Ahmed. And uh, as I told you, that he runs Al Munir Foundation, and he's the pride of Muslim community. Please, sir, come on stage. Grand Mufti of America, Mufti Munir Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillahi wahda. Wa salatu wa salamu ala malla nabiya ba'da amma ba'da. Honorable chief guest, respected officials, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Saji Tarar for inviting me to this wonderful event. And moreover, giving me the honor honor of address all of you. My dears, in the light of the current world events, I would like to take this opportunity to share my thoughts with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has entangled mankind in two conditions. One is the condition of peace and the other is fear. But by its very nature mankind, seeks peace and wants to escape from fear. The fruit of peace is affection and friendship. On the other hand, the consequence of fear is hatred, conflict, and war. Principally, if each one of us sincerely fulfills our responsibilities, then it will automatically result is securing the rights of others. It will create peace in the world. But if someone does not truly fulfill his responsibilities, then certainly it will violate the rights of others. It will give rise to conflict and hostility. My dears, it's only when those in power will start to give the rights to those weaker than them, only then we will experience peace in the world. In this regard, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, peace be upon him, said, Kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'oolun an ra'iyatihi. Every one of you is a guardian. On the day of judgment, every guardian will be answerable for those under his guardianship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made America a superpower. It's like a guardian for the whole world. See? It's like a guardian for the whole world. Therefore, it's a responsibility to, of America to check where in the world the balance of rights and responsibilities are being violated so that it can use its goodwill to stop the hands of injustice and raise the flag of peace. <laughs> Otherwise, America will lose its, its dignity in this world, and it will also be held accountable in front of God on that day of judgment. Especially, America should step forward to help the innocent people of Palestine and Kashmir and ogre Muslims in China, etc., and stop the injustice going on there. This is a test to truly fulfill the responsibility of being a superpower. In the end, I sincerely pray that 
our world becomes a place of peace and security for everyone i pray that allah subhanahu wa taala give america the capability and courage to raise the flag of peace and justice and protect america with his mercy god bless america amen ya rabbal alamin thank you and now uh, of course we will uh, go ahead and acknowledge some of the community members with some awards from muslims of america and omar are we ready for the award ceremony all right so first of all of course uh, please mr wuben smith and mr sajid tarar please come to the stage everybody else please take a uh, seat and uh, quickly we will uh, you know uh, done with this uh, award ceremony and we'll start the rest entertainment uh, ambassador mr uh, asad majid khan please come to the stage mr wuben smith please come to the stage Mr. Will Smith, please come to the stage. Thank you so much. And Mr. Sajid Tarar is okay. Mr. Jasteep Singh, please also come to the stage. And. Uh, and the first award is presented to mufti munir ahmed first award of the night goes to for outstanding community service mufti munir ahmed from al munir foundation please put your hands together for grand mufti of america mufti munir ahmed al khun Thank you so much. And of course when it comes to community service uh the services of Al Munir Foundation we wanted to recognize the Al Munir Foundation and Mufti Azam Janab Mufti Munir again and uh, this uh, shield will be presented by governor and Muslims of America to grand mufti of America Mufti Munir. Good neighbors are here. For all his work that he has been doing through Al Munir Foundation, integrating communities and for the welfare of Muslim community in the United States. Good neighbors are here. Please come on the stage to present the shield to the governor. Thank you, sir.